Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Honda Odyssey, we're going to be showing you how to install the Tembrin Rear Suspension Enhancement. But before we do that, why don't we kind of talk about them and, and see how they work and everything else. So, chances are pretty good if you're watching this video, uh, you're here for a reason, right? You know, these Odysseys, great, awesome vehicles. You know, they run great and everything else. They're really capable, but the problem is, as soon as you start getting even just a little bit of weight back there, I feel like they squat, they start to bottom out, the ride kind of stinks and, and everything else. So what these Temerins are gonna do is help support that back end. That way when you are towing a trailer or have a cargo carrier or bike rack back there, or, you know, have the van fully loaded on your, on your trip, you're not gonna be dragging the bumper down the road, uh, you know, sagging. So these are really gonna help reduce all that and should improve the ride quality, especially when you're loaded down and everything else. Um, but figured why not just kind of right off the bat, we already have them installed actually. Why not, you know, drive around and uh, go over some bumps and take some turns and things like that to see how much an improvement uh, these actually give us. So having uh, driven this thing around earlier and, and driving Odysseys in the past, um, uh, without Timberns on them, uh, kind of know what to expect with these. And matter of fact, I actually used to have a Pilot, which is a very similar chassis to this. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty familiar with these cars actually. So we'll kind of hit some bumps and stuff with these uh, Timberns on. And I mean, just going over that one, it feels better. It definitely feels better. So there's gonna be a lot more control uh, you know, you're gonna have a lot more control of your van whenever you have weight back here. For one, it just feels better, and the suspension actually has a little bit of help. You know, it's not working so hard, and so when that's happening, um, you know, the everything's gonna be much more responsive. Your van's gonna be more responsive and everything else. Now, keep in mind, um, you know, when you're unloaded and hitting bumps, um, or unload and just driving around like normal, you shouldn't feel any change at all in your suspension. It should feel like a factory ride. But with that said, once you do have some weight back here and stuff, it is gonna be a little bit more stiff. And that's kind of to be expected because it's exactly what it's doing, right? You can't, don't really get the best of both worlds. You don't get to maintain a super smooth ride with a bunch of weight and expect it to still be stiff and, and, and handle, right? So I uh, just wanted to point that out. So when you do have the Timberns on and some weight, you know, you can't expect a little bit more of a firm ride, but to me, that trade-off is well worth it. These Timberns are also gonna help uh, with body roll. And so what I mean by that, let's say, this is almost more of a real world situation, honestly, but let's say if you're getting some speed and you're going around a long turn or have to make some type of evasive maneuver, kind of like how I am now, the van is gonna be much more planted to the ground and and much more control. So for to kind of let the majority of people understand this, imagine if it was like uh, top heavy before, right? It felt like it was one to really lean over and super sloppy these since they're more firm and give you that support when that body wants to shift they're going to force it back up straight and keep you more planted and more firm on the ground so you know pretty real world example every time you drive you make turns right and especially when you have weight back there uh, everything's amplified and so um, these being able to help combat that issue uh, is, is worth it, at least in my opinion. You know, anything that can instill a little more confidence in you when you're driving, it's definitely a plus. Uh, but with that said, you know, why don't we go ahead, uh, get off the road here, we'll pull back into the garage and check these out, see what they look like under the car and everything else. This is what your Timberins are gonna look like uh, once they're installed underneath your Odyssey. And honestly, there's really not much to them. Uh, it's a super simple, uh you know part that just flat out works i mean it does have an advantage over what was here from the factory and that part is a johns bumper so this is the factory piece and that used to sit in here so the the timber end really isn't much taller or anything it is a little bit 
but this is going to provide us with actual support as where the factory Johns bumper, this is there to pretty much just prevent our van from bottoming out. And these are really soft, uh, the factory ones. I mean, I can almost compress it a little bit by hand and there's no way I'm doing that with the timber. And this is a uh, solid, feels like a really solid rubber. And so this is actually gonna give us some support. So when weight comes down and sets on it, it's not just gonna squish down. You know, there's gonna be some resistance there and keep our van from sagging um, as much as it did compared to when we just had our factory type jounce bumper in there. These are going to have a 2,000 pound weight capacity. So that's just how much it can handle. So it's not going to add to the weight carrying capacity of your van. Uh, and if you're unsure what that is, you can always find that info in your owner's manual. But other than that, I mean, like I said, these are a really simple part that actually just work, uh, especially on the Odyssey, I feel like these are well worth it um, because it doesn't, it doesn't really take a whole lot of weight to get this thing squatting back here. So if you plan on towing, you know, very often, or even just, even if you go on road trips all the time and stuff, you got a cargo carrier, a bunch of weight, a bunch of people inside. I mean, these vans squat pretty quick uh, from not a lot of weight. So these actually do help. I mean, they, they flat out work uh, and definitely uh, you'll, you'll see an improvement. So, um, you know, can't really go wrong with them, at least in my opinion. As far as getting these installed, really not much to it. Um, what you're gonna do is pry out the factory Johns bumper, them come out pretty, pretty easy. Trying to get these pop back in though is a different story. Sometimes you get lucky, first or second try, they pop right in. Other times you might have to fight with it a little bit, um, but you really don't, even need a tool per se. I just use blocks of wood um, to kind of stuff in here and lower the van down on it and press these things in. So it might take you a couple tries, but uh, you know, stay focused, don't give up. This is something you'll be able to get done. But if you'd like to see uh, how I did it, feel free to follow along. We'll go ahead and install them together now. To begin our installation, you're gonna be underneath the back of your Honda and we need to remove our factory Johns bumpers. So to do this, you want your suspension to be unloaded. So for those of you at home, when you go to jack your car up, you want to jack it up by the frame. That way your suspension components will hang down, give you all this extra room. If you jack it up by the, say the control arm or something, that's not going to be right. So I'll make sure you have it like that. And of course, obviously you always want to use your safety measures, you know, chalk your wheels, uh, use jack stands and so on. But, what we need to do is remove that factory Johns bumper um, and whatever we do to this side of the vehicle, we're also going to do to the other side. So we set up the same way. But with these, these are just pressed in. So you can spray some soapy water in there, uh, whatever you got, just to help lubricate it and then take a pry bar. And kind of pry underneath it. until it works out. So we're not gonna be reusing these or these aren't gonna be going back in rather, so set them off to the side. So what we have to do now is take our timber in and essentially press this right back into the cup there on our control arm. Um, with these, I mean, there's really no special way to do this per se. You just line it up you can try to get it in by hand, at least get it started straight, but you're probably not gonna be able to overcome all the force you need to push that, driving it in. Um, so put some soapy water on it, uh, helps lubricate it to make it easier. Um, I'm gonna take a block of wood, kind of wedge it up in there, something like this, and then lower the van down and use the weight of the van to drive this in to our cup there honestly it'll it'll probably take a couple of tries and a couple different ways of maneuvering this to get it to go in just kind of the nature of it um, something that I thought of which I wish I would have remembered so I have done this uh, in the past um, but I didn't remember it today uh, I feel like it would help if you threw these in the freezer uh, like your you know your refrigerator freezer for a while before he did this and those colder temperatures and with this being kind of a rubbery type material might make the diameter a little bit smaller and 
potentially make it easier to get in. I've done it with metal parts in the past. Uh, I put, you know, one metal part in the freezer, but with the other metal part it needs to go on in the oven and it, it, it helps, it actually works. So I feel like that would almost translate over to this too. I definitely wouldn't hurt. So you've got a little extra time, maybe not a bad idea to try, but with that said, I'll get this lined up as straight as I can. We'll take our block of wood kind of wedge that up in there and then lower it down and see what happens. So I added another board after looking at it. Uh, I felt like I needed to fill that gap up a little bit more, but I'm gonna lower this down. So for those of you at home, you would obviously just use your floor jack and uh, jack it up, pull the jack stand out from it and just slowly let it down like you were, like you were done working on it almost. But. Like I said, it'll probably take a couple tries to get these in there, so I'll slowly let it down and hopefully, uh, hopefully we get lucky on the first run here. So here's what it looks like uh, all the way seated. I actually got pretty lucky that first go around it. It got it in there all the way. Essentially, I just came and kind of worked it like that for a split second and just seated completely. So. Um, you know, like I said, I got kind of lucky on that one. The ones I've done in the past, I've had to, you know, trim different blocks of wood and kind of just work them in there and kind of trial and error to get it pressed in. But uh, once you have both of them in, that's really all there is to it. There's really nothing left in the install. Um, essentially, you're ready to load up your van and hit the road. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Tembrin rear suspension enhancement on our 2022 Honda Odyssey.